Shalom, beloved. It is a word. The spirit is continually pressing this on me. So I'm going to give it and I'm not going to ask everybody to bear with me because it just keeps coming and coming and coming. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Here we are on the day that the world looks upon as the resurrection or the commemoration of the resurrection. And there are there is a resurrection going on. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Keep that, beloved. The Lord took me to Philippians. For indeed, some priests preach Christ, the word of the Most High, even of envy and strife, the word of God, the word of Yah, his truth. They are preaching it, some of envy and strife. Bear with me. When the truth, for Yah is the truth. When the truth of who? Yasharel came out. When we already knew. But there were others that, upon hearing it, Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving defends his tweet about a documentary criticized as anti-Semitic. Okay, Hebrews to Negroes, Kyrie Irving. Okay, let's go back. Some indeed preach the word of Yah, even of envy and strife. Some also of goodwill. Some of goodwill, beloved. When we look at Yah preached of goodwill, okay, now we may see something where Though it is a goodwill to put the truth out there, it also goes back to envy and strife, okay? The one preached the word of Yah of contention, not sincerely supposing to add affliction to my bonds, our bonds, line upon line, precept upon precept. But the other of love, knowing that I am set for defense of the gospel, Line upon line, beloved, line upon line. Yes, Vladimir Putin reveals vault featuring black Yeshua and saints. Unveiling sparks controversy, controversy. And now, beloved, we are going to look at what uh, one of the other uh, people have written and recorded better spoken, recorded about this same thing that was known. Many of us have always known. Many of us, many others have always known. As a matter of fact, remember we're doing line upon line and precept upon precept. This is lining up with Psalm 83. Okay. Um, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Cut off their knowledge of self. Don't let them read. Don't tell them. Use the prince of the air. Use lies in order to hide who they are. Come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Yasharel shall be no more in remembrance. Okay, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Yes, yes, yes. Now we are going to listen to this. We are dealing with line upon line. We are walking through scripture. Some teach it, the word of God, through controversy. Others teach it through love, but no matter what it's being spread, I'm going to play. He this. actually went by the name of Andre Rublev. 1360s to 1430 is widely considered to be the greatest medieval Russian painter of orthodox icons and frescoes. His teacher was Theothanis, the Greek Byzantine 
artist who was born in Constantinople and later came to Russia. So this guy was like the Russian Leonardo da Vinci. And a lot of his painting, a lot of his paintings, in fact, all of the ones regarding like depicting Christ, it was always a brother, right? A dark skinned guy. And this is the reason why what Putin was showing you was actually in Russia, they actually hold the black Madonna, the black Jesus as very sacred because it actually protects them, right? So he was actually donating that because what, what was the history behind that video? He was actually donating that to the Russian military. It was actually April 18th, 2022, that video, but it's just resurfaced and gone viral, right? Um, now, let me play you another video, Deep Divers, which is really going to blow your mind. Take a listen to this. The book Russian Icons by Father Vladimir Ivanov, recently rediscovered, we find the most interesting collection of Christian icons. It is of high interest for two reasons. Number one, it depicts the various Christian icons as black. And number two, this is not found in Western Europe, but well in Eastern Europe and Russia. This means that black people were venerated as deities from Spain to France, Italy, Germany, and all the way to Russia. In some, all over Europe. There are at least 500 black Madonnas in Europe, not counting the ones hidden in the Vatican, 128 in France alone. And you need to remember that these icons survived multiple waves of iconoclasm. This means that in the past, they would have been ubiquitous throughout Europe before the great artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo were commissioned to start painting the classic Europeanized face of Jesus that we know today. So then, as always, if we ask the critical questions, if the mainstream historical narrative is true and that black people have never achieved anything of note in history, why then were they depicted and venerated all over Europe? Even more intriguing, what were black people doing in so many depictions, descriptions, sculptures, and plays in Europe at all? For those who have been listening, it is simply because they were present in such numbers and it yielded such influence that even the planned erasure and systematic destruction of the icon survived from Western Europe to Eastern Europe, from Germany to Italy. All right, beloved. Now, again, we are dealing in line upon line, precept upon precept. We are looking at what Paul said. In the book of Philippians, it is running. Some indeed preach Christ, Christ, the word of Yah, truth, even of envy and strife. Some also of goodwill. The one preacheth the word of God of contention, not sincerely. Supposing to add affliction. Yes, yes, yes. But others of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel, that good news. What then, notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, the word of Yah is preached, okay? And I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. Line upon line, you got to make it line up, beloved. What is occurring is line upon line, all right? Let this mind that be in Yah and Yeshua HaMashiach being ye also, okay? When we look at line upon line and precept upon precept, we also know that according to what is going on right now, right now, beloved, that as this being looked upon as a resurrection day, okay, Yeshua HaMashiach was supposed to have been buried and when you do line upon line and precept upon precept, there is a people, Yasharel, that were buried. The people of the seed buried. But we understand that that which was buried goes in singular. They thought we will bury you, bury your history. We will consult together and bury your name. But just like the true life that rose with Yeshua HaMashiach, so too does Yasharel rise from the dirt 
And Yeshua answered them and said, the hour is come that the son of man should be glorified. Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, them dry bones and die, it abideth for long. Mm -hmm. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit, much fruit. Yes, yes, yes. You see, there was a nation that they thought they buried. And now as it sprouts, as it comes up, Yasharel woke up to themselves. Yasharel knew who they were because Yahuwah woke us up, the great awakening. But now it is blooming and blossoming all over the world, whether through contention, whether through support, whether through love, it does not matter. Just like in the time of Paul, whether it was done to be smart, you got some palm colored people right now that they make contentious videos about it, but make no mistake about it, the word has gone out all over the world. Why? Because that corn of wheat fell into the ground. That corn of wheat, not the tares, the wheat called Yasharel and was buried by their enemies. And it abideth alone, but it, if it died, it brought forth, it's bringing forth much fruit. Just like Yeshua HaMashiach, when they buried him, he was in one state. But when he rose, he rose in all power, in all power, beloved. What we are seeing is the resurrection of Yasharel. It is line upon line and precept upon precept before your very eyes, even to the point that when Yeshua HaMashiach rose and Peter and the apostles went to tell the story, there were the chief priests and the Pharisees who locked him up and told him, shh, don't tell it. Don't you tell that story anymore. But Peter and them preached bolder. They were even more bold than they were before. And the numbers of the believers grew. When Yeshua HaMashiach rose, there were those who said lie and say he didn't rise. His body was stolen away. Whether in controversy, whether in support, or whether in love, that word spreads because the seed has been buried, but now it's bringing forth much fruit, beloved. It is line upon line. It is the controversy when you think about when uh, Kyrie Irving was, he did a tweet. He did one tweet. Why did that tweet make so much controversy? Had this man apologizing so much controversy about the film Hebrews to Negroes. Okay, even though Amazon was making mad money, they never pulled it. They never pulled the video, but they wanted Kyrie to go hush, hush. Like when they talked to Peter and them. Okay, but now, okay, whether through contention, whether through support, or whether through love, it will not stop. It is bringing forth much fruit, beloved. And now, remember, it is line upon line and precept upon precept. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That word of Yah is interwoven. And as long as it fits Yah's word, they tried to bury. They thought they buried Yasharel, just like they thought they had destroyed Yeshua HaMashiach. They buried it. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. You come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Yasharel shall be no more in remembrance. Didn't they do that to Yeshua HaMashiach? Oh, but my, 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 my. On that third day, on that third day, they don't understand. We weren't dying. We were germinating beneath their so-called dirt. 
They buried us, put us in the valley of dry bones. But the word of the most high came in. Yes, yes, yes. There are prophets. There are people speaking to Yasharel. And what are we seeing? That kernel of wheat, lets it die and fall to the ground. But once it does, it brings forth much fruit. Just like Yeshua HaMashiach. Just like Yeshua HaMashiach. They thought. Once we bury him, that'll be the end of this matter. Never understanding they were fulfilling the word of Yah. They were fulfilling what Yah had intended to bring about anyway. The same way Yasharel under the curse, it was a fulfilling of Yahuwah's word. But Yasharel, upon their release, the fulfilling is coming to pass, beloved. This is more than just what Putin did. This is the resurrection of Yasharel. What was done when they tried to hush up Kyrie, when they tried to hush up a couple folk, now it's busting out. It's bringing forth much fruit. Here little, there little, beloved. Here little, there little. Except the corn of wheat. We are not the tares, we are the wheat. Fall into the ground and die. It abideth for long, but if it die. It bringeth forth much fruit. Yes, yes, yes. Yahshua HaMashiach knew he had to fulfill his destiny, as did Yasharel. And that corn of wheat that went into the ground, named Yasharel, let this mind that be in Yeshua HaMashiach be in thee also, line upon line, precept upon precept. Now it's bringing forth much fruit. This is bigger than Putin because Putin didn't have anything to do with it. He's an instrument, as are all those others, even those that try to stop it. It is a word, beloved. It is a word to open up your eyes that we are looking at the resurrection of Yasharel. We are looking at the fact that that which they bury not understanding the will of the Most High, that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. All things. Not some things. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Not little things. All things work together for the good. And that which the devil meant for our bad. Mm. Kyrie. Kyrie. Like they did Peter and them. Hush up now. Hush up now. We'll take everything. They took Peter's freedom for a time. Mm -hmm. Hush up now. Hush up. Kyrie Irving. Didn't work. Didn't work. Now it's coming out of all quarters. Why? Because that corn of wheat went into the ground. And now it's bringing forth much fruit, beloved. The truth and the hour and the time has come. And when he got up, he got up in all power. He may have been buried in weakness, but he got up in power. He got up in power. Yasharel was buried in her weakness. But when Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of the Most High, spoken over us, we get up in power. And there is nothing they can do. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.